Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a caselet. It says that there are six people. Their monthly salary is given to us and their saving percentage of their salary is also given to us. Okay. And it is uh, mentioned that for each person saving as well as expenditure is an integral multiple of 1000. And some more piece of information. Using that, we need to find out who is who, whose salary is how much, how much percentage they have, they save of their salary and hence uh, savings and expenditure. Okay, so let us make a table like this, salary, uh, then we have the saving percentage, then from that we can calculate savings and expenditures. Okay, and then we can map the person. So in all such kind of sets, one thing that you need to remember is, do not start the first column as the name. Okay, that's the mistake most of the aspirants do. Instead, start with some numerical data because salary is the key thing here. Based on salary, we will find out, we'll map the salary with these percentages and map the person. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six persons. Okay, so uh, let us read these statements and see where to start from. Now, if you see this, uh, for each person, this is a multiple of 1000. So these salaries, let us put 75, 80, 84, then we have 90, 100 and 120 and thousands. Gargi is one of those two persons whose salaries are less than that of Manu. So Gargi is one of those persons whose, so it means that there are two persons whose salaries are less than Manu and one of them is Gargi. Okay. So that means this person is Manu. Okay. And now we are also given that Gargi is one of those two persons. So Gargi will be one out of these two. Now another information given about Gargi that Gargi is the only person whose savings and expenditure both are multiples of 10,000. Okay. Now both are multiple of 10,000. Now if we see the percentages, how it turns out to be a multiple of 10,000, right? So since we have considered, we have removed this. So we just, just need to see that which numbers make a multiple of 10. So her salary can be 75 or 80. So obviously it has to be 80 because her saving is 10,000, like a multiple of 10,000. And expenditure is also multiple of 10,000. So her salary should also be a multiple of 10,000. Okay, so that means this person is Gargi. Okay, now uh, we need to find how can we make a multiple of 10. Okay, so 20 is not possible. 80, 20 is 16. 80, 25, 20. Uh, then 28 is not possible. 30 not possible. 33.33, 40 not possible. So we see that. 25% goes with 80. So her saving is 20,000. Her expenditure is 60,000. And this is Gargi. So we will knock off the combinations. All right. Now let us see certain other values. If we can match certain things with them. Uh, if we see 75, we can get 20 also, 28 also, 30 uh, not possible, 33.33, 40. So these multiple possibilities exist with 75. But if you see 84, we cannot have 20% with it because it will not give a multiple of 1000. Right? 28 is not possible, 30 is not possible, only possibility looks 33.33. So with 84, we can have only one possibility that is 33.33. So that gives us savings as 28 and expenditure as 56. So one more we have not out. Now we have a number uh, 28%, right? So either this 28% will go with 100 or it will go with 75. For rest, we might have a lot of possibilities like 20 can go with 90 also 100, 75. Similarly, 30 can also go with 90, 100 kind of thing. So let us come to that later. But let's fill certain things now. Uh, so Gargi is one of those persons. This is sorted. And then we have uh, Priya's savings as well as expenditure are higher than that of Gargi. So Priya's savings should be more than 20 and her expenditure should also be more than 60. Okay, so her salary is definitely on this side. 
and then we are given that this is considered okay so one more thing that we can consider is gargi is the only person whose savings and expenditure are both multiples of 10000 so if we say 100 100 into 20 is 20000 this is 30,000, this is 40,000. So that means the only combination we can get with 100 is 28. Because that will, otherwise we will get a multiple of uh, 10,000. Okay, so we get this also done. So we have combined this also. So we are left with three things to match, uh, percentage and numbers. Then we are given the person with the highest saving percentage spends the least okay so highest saving percentage is how much 40 and that person spends the least okay now 40 percent if we see that we have not we cannot combine with 80 84 or 100 so suppose if we combine 40 percent with 90 right 40 percent with 90 this means that saving will saving will be 36 and expenditure will be 54 so it says the person with the highest saving percentage spends the least okay so his expenditure is 54 and at least one person saves more than him or her so one person should save more than 36 in this case okay so can we have any person saving more than 36 so 90 wala we are allotted 40 percent now if we allot uh, even 30 percent to 120 let us say in this case even if we allot 30 percent to 120 the saving will go be 36 the maximum that one can get it is given that at least one person saves more we do not get any person saving more than this person okay so this case gets eliminated so this means that highest saving percentage cannot go with 90 the highest saving percentage should go with 75 okay so uh, 75 will have 40 percent saving percentage okay so saving is 30 and expenditure is 45 so this person we are yet to mark okay so this is also done 75 40 combination now uh, this is also given that this expenditure is least at least one person saves more than him now we are left with 90 and 120 and the percentages left are 20 and 30 okay so if we assign 20 here so suppose if we assign 30 and 20 here so savings will be 27 and 24 and there is one person who saves more than this person so that is not possible in this case so we will have it the other way around that 20 percent saving and we have 30 percent saving so that we get savings as 18 and 36 so this satisfies that one person saves more than this person okay so we have 30 percent here and we have 20 percent so we have mapped these values at least now we will look at the conditions and find out that who is who okay so we've got these values udita savings is the least so the least saving is 18 so this will be udita okay yash saves less than both priya and sujoy okay yash saves less than priya and sujoy so yash has to be this person Priya and Sujoy will be one out of these two. Okay, so this is Yash. Then we are given that Priya's savings as well as expenditure are higher than that of Gargi. So Priya has to be this person. Saving is higher, expenditure is higher. And this means this person is Sujoy. Okay, so that is how we complete the uh, table of all these six people. Their uh, savings, saving percentage, expenditure, salary at all which of the following pairs of friends has the same expenditure so same expenditure we have two people 72,000 each that is uh, Yash and Udita how many percent savings is less than the saving of Sujoy Sujoy has a saving of 30,000 and we have one two three four people less than that so we have four how many people spend less than what Gargi spends so Gargi's expenditure is 60 we need to find those who spend less than 60 so 1 2 and 2 people what is Yash's salary 
yes his salary is 1 lakh so that is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions